What's going on guys? This is Matt and today's video is going to be an unboxing of AMD Ryzen 7. Now I actually already recorded this video once but my mic decided to do this. So as you can see the audio from that was absolutely unusable so I'm recording this again. Now in this box is an AMD A7-1700 as well as a motherboard and I'm gonna go ahead and open it up, show it off to you guys and give you guys my first impressions. So I actually kind of retaped this with a little bit of electrical tape but I'll go ahead and take that off right now. So inside this box, it's actually packaged really well with a whole bunch of packing material. This is an 18 pound package and a lot of the weight is actually from a custom handmade wooden box that all of the press kits come in, which I think is a really awesome touch and something that I'm gonna display in my room and in future videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and pull out that big wooden box as you guys can see right here. It's got a handle on top it's got hinges on the side and it's got this latching mechanism right here. Now I'll just go ahead and prop it up and show it to you guys. And as you can see on the front engraved is AMD Ryzen. And I think this looks really nice. It's got a nice stain on it and everything. And I'm assuming they must have laser engraved that, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this box up. Everything about this box feels really sturdy and heavy duty, even, especially this latch right here. Now opening it up on top, we're greeted by a little overlay as well as the processor box itself. It says your Ryzen is here, powerful in purpose, efficient in design, AMD Ryzen 7. And in here is the Ryzen 7 1700 itself. And this is actually the processor I was most excited to check out, so I'm glad they sent it out because this seems to be the absolute best value for the money that AMD is offering currently. Now, I'll go ahead and open this up. And they didn't actually send a retail version with the Wraith Spire cooler. This just has the little kind of candy bar sized box with the CPU in it itself. I'll go ahead and open that up. And in here is just a little plastic sleeve with the R7-1700 and a little Ryzen sticker that you can stick on your case or whatever you like. Now, for those of you that don't know, this is an eight core 16 thread processor that can turbo up to 3.7 gigahertz, I believe, and is actually overclockable. And with a little tuning, you can get it up to the performance of an R7 1800X, which is a $500 processor, which kind of rivals the performance of an i7 6900K, which is a $1,000 processor. So for $330, this is retailing for, it's an amazing deal. And I've actually seen that price already start to come down with, I've seen a couple sites on build a PC sales showing that you could get this for sub $300 with the Wraith Spire cooler, which is an amazing deal. So I'm gonna set that off to the side, take off this little overlay thing. And under that is a little card that says, are you ready for AMD Ryzen? I certainly am. And this is just um, some supplying some information for reviewers. So I'll set that off to the side as well. And then the final thing in this box is quite possibly one of the best AM4 motherboards on the market right now. This is the ASUS Republic of Gamers Crosshair 6 Hero motherboard. This is an absolutely amazing motherboard with so many features. And I'm going to talk about this for a little bit more. I'm just going to set it on my lap for now so that I can close up this box which was made by Woodchuck and they've got a little program called buy one plant one where I'm assuming that when they buy their wood for whatever amount of wood would equi equate to a tree they're gonna plant a tree which means that this is actually a sustainable box which I guess is pretty cool so I'm gonna close this up and set it off to the side, but I'll show it to you guys one more time. This is really nice, and it's definitely gonna be in the background of a lot of future videos. So setting that down to the side, I'll pull up this motherboard right here. Now, like I said, this is the ASUS Crosshair 6 Hero motherboard, and this is the best uh, X370 board ASUS currently makes. It says, welcome to the Republic, because ASUS is the Republic of Gamers. It's got this little plastic shroud, and then the motherboard dead center, which is really a nice monochromatic motherboard. It's mostly, actually it's got a 
a kind of black and gray um, color scheme and it looks really nice and it's going to look really nice with most any build and it's got basically every feature you could want including M.2, three 16x physical PCIe slots, of course your AM4 socket, a really um, nice power delivery system. It's got four DIMM slots for your memory. It's got some on off buttons built in to the motherboard which is really nice for people like me who are going to do benchmarks with it. It's got basically every feature you could want on an AM4 board. Now also in the box you get a little coaster, you get a coupon for cable mod, you get the drivers which go to the website and download them if you're going to get any motherboard go to the manufacturer's website they're going to be the most up to date. You've got the user manual and then over in one of these side things you have the IO shield, you have an SLI bridge which will be helpful for those of you that are running say two 1080 Ti's or something crazy like that. Now this isn't the best looking SLI bridge available but it'll definitely get the job done as well as a little helpful pin thing for the front panel I.O. so you can plug it all into this before you plug it into your motherboard which is going to make it a lot easier to do. Now in the other side of this box we have a couple SATA cables as well as an RGB LED cable. So this has ASUS Aura, which allows you to sync up fans, video cards, all sorts of different stuff that have RGB LEDs so they can all work together and provide a beautiful light show inside of your PC. And also an M.2 mounting screw, which is nice to have if you have an M.2. I'm definitely actually gonna be using an NVMe M.2 SSD with this, so that should be interesting. And this will be what I'm benchmarking with the R7-1700. I'm going to try to overclock because if this will overclock and overclock high, it's going to be able to do it on this board. And if it's not able to do it on this board, it's not really going to be able to do it on any other board because this is one of the best on the market for overclocking. And I will also be using these parts in a build for like a set budget with a 1070 or something. So definitely be checking out for that. There's going to be a lot of Ryzen coverage on the way. I actually think I have a few unique ways to test and show off Ryzen that people haven't really seen yet. I realize I'm late to the party in terms of Ryzen coverage, but I did just get this package yesterday, and I'm very excited to start testing and benchmarking and sharing my results with you guys. But even though I will be focusing a lot on Ryzen for the next week or so, there will be the normal content in between. I've actually got a couple budget builds as well as um, budget reviews on the way, so definitely stay tuned for that. And yeah, I think this wraps this video up. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, as well as consider subscribing for more PC and tech-related content in the future. And as always, this is Matt from Tech by Matt, signing out. Peace.